Animals and animal products are key to human life, including human diets. But food is only the tip of the iceberg. For many communities, animals are a means of transportation, part of the workforce, but they also provide clothing, livelihood, companionship, and so much more. However, like humans, they are vulnerable to epidemics and pandemics, even more so when disease spread is fueled by criminal or terrorist activities. Any animal-related crime has the potential to spread disease, either accidentally or intentionally. As such, these crimes can be qualified as animal agrocrime. Not only do such crimes have negative consequences on animal health, but they can impact animal welfare, public health, food safety, food authenticity, the economy or national security. For example, every year, the selling or smuggling of contaminated animals or meat is responsible for plague and anthrax outbreaks in humans and animals. Law enforcement agencies have a role in countering such crimes that contribute directly or indirectly to preventing the spread of animal diseases. And as a first line of defense in the fight against agrocrime, they are prone both to disease exposure, while their lack of awareness can also contribute to further disease spread. Animal agrocrimes may be small in scale and local, while others are widespread and driven by organized crime groups. While oftentimes the animal disease spread is a byproduct of a criminal activity, some agrocrime look at the deliberate spread of disease among animals. This includes animal agroterrorism, understood as terrorist attacks directed against livestock. In many cases, animal disease outbreaks connected to criminal activity either go unreported or are only investigated from a health perspective. Law enforcement are usually ill-equipped to understand the connection and the potential of disease spread linked to specific animal-related diseases. It is essential to strengthen collaboration between law enforcement and veterinary services in tackling agrocrime as both sectors have complementary expertise and can support each other in fulfilling their respective mandates and protecting the public. Building trust between these two sectors can be established on mutual understanding and sharing of complementary expertise. From there, intelligence sharing and joint threat assessments can strengthen joint investigations and enhance evidence exploitation in cases of agrocrime. Only by sharing these types of activities can the risk of disease spread be mitigated. In partnership with the World Organization for Animal Health and the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, Interpol promotes national, regional and international cooperation between law enforcement and veterinary services to respond to animal health emergencies by building capacity and resilience to agro-terrorism and agro-crime. In order to support these efforts, Interpol, in partnership with FAO and WOAR, conduct various activities to help build resources and national capacity, bringing law enforcement and veterinary services together. For more information on these issues and our activities, please visit our website.